training camp week because they're losing a couple of days of practice per some violations in years past. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal when you hear the violations announced, but now when push comes to shove and you're got limited practice time, how does that affect the team? Well, you know, I think for other teams who are less experienced, less um, kind of from a talent standpoint, less off than the Seattle Seahawks, I think it would be a big deal, but not for the Seattle Seahawks. Pete Carroll and uh, John Schneider, they've done a great job of injecting their philosophy of always compete, um, uh, follow the rules, you know, and they use the OTA times to teach. I think this, this, this will not affect this team. Certainly, the violations were over a excessive hitting at some yeah. other practices. Well, they're competing, kind of man. I'm sure the players <laughs> like a little bit of downtime, but certainly a player who likes to get in there lower set a little bit is Marshawn Lynch. But we, we kind of thought at the start of last year that he was going to have an off season. Obviously, he turned out to have a, a really solid season. But you look at a team that – has had some changes on the offensive line. Is this the year we see a drop off from Marshawn Lynch? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Tom Cable does a great job with that offensive line. No other coach in the National Football League does more with less than what Tom Cable has done with that offensive line. And Marshawn Lynch, again, he's in his offseason. He's not a guy that puts a lot of wear and tear on his body in the offseason. He relaxes, you know what I mean? Obviously, he works out, but he relaxes. I do not think Marshawn will drop off. I think the addition of Jimmy Graham will only help Marshawn Lynch. One of the great things about watching this footage of Marshawn Lynch, that mindset, that mentality, that beast mode that he brings to this team. But if you are the Seattle Seahawks, you had such a tough loss to the Patriots in the Super Bowl mindset coming into this upcoming season what is it well you got to put it behind you you have to find a way to put that last play behind mm -hmm. you put that entire game behind you and understand that you are one of the best teams in this league and you have to go out there and prove it hey the Seattle Seahawks are not lacking confidence. I, I can I can guarantee that no, uh, they, they, they've never lacked confidence but they have to be able to have a short memory, put this behind them, and continue to fight. They know how to get back, and I'm sure they'll be in the mix again. You look at the Seahawks team, you look at the fact they've been to two straight Super Bowls, you see how good they are, obviously some changes, but you mentioned that mindset. Could they make it to three straight? It's been a while since we've seen a team go to three straight. Got to go back to the Bills in 93. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite teams when I was growing up, the, the, the Bills, I think they can. Why not? I mean, you talk about the core group of guys when you talk about Russell Wilson, Marshawn Lynch, uh, Richard Sherman, uh, the entire LOB, you know, Cam Chancellor, uh, Earl Thomas, all of those guys, even Cliff Abel and Michael Bennett on the defensive side of the ball. All of those guys are still in place. You still have all of your key components to your number one defense. All right, well, certainly a lot to watch as the Seattle Seahawks get ready for 2015. We've got complete mini-camp coverage, complete off-season coverage. You can see it all by visiting NFL.com.